जय हिंद दोस्तों वेलकम बैक टू योर यूट्यूब चैनल शायन शास्त्री सो हेयर वी आर फॉर एच आर आर एल एच आर आर एल स्टैंड फॉर एच पी सी एल राजस्थान रिफाइनरी लिमिटेड रिसेंटली एच आर आर एल हैज कंडक्टेड द सीबीटी एग्जामिनेशन एंड टूडे दर इज अंटीन ऑफ अप्रिल इज अ लास्ट डेट फॉर एनी ऑब्जेक्शन ओके सो इफ यू हैव एनी ऑब्जेक्शन रिगार्डिंग द सीबीटी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क दैम ओके लेट मी फर्स्ट रिवाइंड यू द एग्जामिनेशन प्रोसेस इट इज बेसिकली थ्री स्टेज प्रोसेस फर्स्ट वन इज योर सीबीटी then skill test then your review test okay skill test or trade test today i am going to discuss about the skill test or trade test okay before starting that first little bit of information about hrrl uh, it is basically a joint venture of hpcl and rajasthan government okay so it is a downstream company what does the downstream means in oil industry or in enp industry basically oil field there are two type of industries one is called upstream industry those who are in the business of exploration and production and another one is called downstream industry those who are in the business of refining that crude okay or for the petrochemical department okay so down so hpcl or hrrl is basically a downstream company and they are in the business of refining the crude and for different kind of petrochemical as well so what is the skill test means okay now my friend this is basically a part 1 in the near future i am going i am also going to upload the part 2 as well If you like this video do let me in the comment section then and then only I am going to upload the part before starting let me first tell you what the job of what is the job of a junior executive chemical so basically these all are the shift pattern job or everyone is going to post it in the lab or in the field and they have to perform the duties in the shift okay now duties in the shift so it may be a 8 hour shift or it may be a 12 hour shift okay followed by the pro proper rest since this is basically a industrial aspect so in the skill test or trade test actually the hpcl or hrrl requires it is basically one kind of practical based examination okay so they are going to ask you the question regarding what all tests you can do for a, a in downstream company or they can also ask you perform this particular test or they can also ask you perform this uh, uh, operate this instrument okay so in oil industry we have we have to use lot of equipment as well the syllabus as you already know that for junior executive chemical is not a pure bsc chemistry syllabus but one thing you should remember this is not for you only this for everyone who have completed bsc chemistry so from my video i hope you will be getting the important points for skill test this is going to be very technical okay now before proceeding you must get some inspiration okay for inspiration was the video of hpcl rajasthan refinery limited salary perks and allowances once you get to know the salary perks allowance laptop advance medical facility mobile advance and blah blah things then and then only you will get ins inspiration to watch this video and to for prepare for your skill test okay the first and very foremost thing is sampling what is my sampling means okay sampling means in order to carry out the particular test in the field or in the chemical lab the first and very foremost thing is the sampling you have to take the sample in a proper manner there are called sops standard operating procedure for taking the sample whether it is a liquid sample or is a gas sample i am going to discuss in detail so it may be the liquid sample it may be the gas sample what are the liquid samples liquid sample it may be the crude oil sample from pipeline it may be the aviation turbine fuel atf stands for atf stands for aviation turbine fuel it may be petroleum products like ms motor spirit diesel or any other lubricants okay from where you have to take the sample it may be from the storage tanks it may be from the pipelines it may be somewhere else it may be from any vessels okay these are the source where you have to take the sample okay for taking the liquid sample there is a specialized container that we are called is in the oil industry that container is called as jerry can okay so jerry can is basically specialized it may be the container of the steel or it may be the container of the plastic okay so you have to take the sample and after taking the sample first and very foremost thing you have to make the label of what is the name of the sample from which pipeline you have taken the sample okay suppose you have taken the sample from hp separator a so like this as well as date you need to mention this kind of thing on the sample and that and then keep that sample in a designated place okay these are very foremost thing next thing is your gas sample what kind of gas sample we have to take you have to take the hydrocarbon gas sample hydrocarbon sample gas sample means natural gas why you are taking the crude oil sample or liquid sample or gas sample for analysis purposes in the uh, in the ongoing slides we are going to understand what all these are okay now next is h2s sampling for h2s detection for carbon dioxide detection you have to do lot of things okay 
from where again from the storage tanks or pipeline in a pipeline when a crude is flowing it contains some gas also so you have to test that gas for that sampling is required now for liquid sampling jerry canes may be the metal or maybe the plastic is enough but for gas sampling there is a specified uh, container called as gas bomb gas bomb is this basically the container through which you can collect the gas sample this kind of container is this here is a valve here is a valve okay quality analysis and standard methods in any industry every quality parameters or every quality analysis process should be done with respect to some standards mostly in oil industry we are following astm standards or ip methods so what is this astm so it's basically astm stands for american society for testing and material it is a non profit organization which develops and publishes voluntarily technical international standards for wide range of chemicals quality products materials testing methodologies like this in the upcoming slides i am going to tell you about the quality parameters testing all this parameter testing should be done with respect to the strict compliance of astm method lab test to determine the quality of a crude oil or any lubricant or any petroleum product Okay, so the first test is the distillation test. Distillation test stands for it is basically the so water content in any given sample. The sample may be crude oil, the sample may be petroleum product, maybe lubricant, maybe petrol, diesel, anything. Okay, so what is the distillation means? It is a very simple test. Basically, we are using the distillation flask, 100 ml of the sample, and 100 ml of carrying solvent, which is basically connected. With a condenser, okay. Now this is this kind of setup is there. This setup is called as Dean Star method. Here my water will collect. Okay. From this I can easily tell you that how much water is in the sample. This is the first test, very first test. And the next test is density and API gravity for any petroleum product, whether it is a crude lubricant, petroleum, diesel. The density and gravity is most important. Whenever you visit petrol pump, there is a figure. Of density is written in the machine. Okay, that density is very important. So, how we are going to calculate density? Estimated density in the machine is called as hydrometer. Hydrometer is basic. Uh, nowadays, digital hydrometer is there, but uh, analog hydrometer is very good. Now, from density, density can be calculated at any temperature, but for as per ASTM, density need to convert it at 15 degree. This 15 degree is basically a standard condition. So, in order to convert the density in 15 degree, very simple. The test temperature minus 15 degree centigrade multiply 0 0.00009 then plus 1 multiply by density so this is the formula for density okay or this is the formula for density 15 degree centigrade this is also called a specific gravity now there is another term called api api is again a very important quality parameter for understanding whether this crude is heavier crude or any light crude okay the api stands for american petroleum index very simple the formula of api is very simple 141.5 divided by density at 15 degree centigrade minus 131.5 okay this is the formula for calculating api gravity or api density okay so this this is all about this next is pore point pore point is another very important quality parameter pore point is basically the temperature at which the uh, minimum maximum temperature at which the first solid crystal of a liquid arises the pore point why this pore point is necessary because by examining the pore point of the product we can maintain the temperature of the pipeline so if the pore point if the temperature of the pipeline is lower than that of the pore point then my liquid or crude will congeal and it will not flow to determine the pore point, there is a machine called as auto rigor pore point machine. Next is called smoke point. This is smoke point is another very important parameter for diesel, petroleum as well as ATM. It is basically the temperature at which first visible smoke or first visible vapor of the liquid comes out. Next is your viscosity. Viscosity is very important for petroleum, for your diesel, for petrol products. Okay, not for crude oil. For lubricant also. Whenever you, I think you, you guys must know in a garage when you are going to top up the lube oil or lubricant in your bike or car, that workman is actually measuring the viscosity by using his hands only. There is how much viscous is the material. Okay, so we have a machine called as relative viscometer for measuring the viscosity or basically comparing the viscosity of a given sample with respect to the standard okay this this test is for lubricant and petroleum only because the lab test to determine the quality of a gas 
why i am do, uh, why i am discussing this because in skill test or trait test they may ask you question on that or they also they may also ask you to perform a particular test this is basically the equipment to bring the gas and the very foremost a very important is the gas composition by gas chromatography if you don't know what is gas chromatography is just go through the basics of gas chromatography if you don't know how to operate gas chromatography no problem but you must know the basic uh, principle behind the gc so why gc is used gc is used to determine the composition of a gas from c1 to c8 or c9 okay how much c1 is there to c2 c3 c3 what is the calorific value what is the specific calorific value what is the molecular weight of my gas this kind of another the dragger stress in gas analysis dragger stress is very important the gas may contain h2s how will you determine the h2s so dragger test is basically it is it's a kind of test in which there's a tube okay this tube contains a specialized chemical these specialized chemicals may react with the different substances present in the gas and changes color accordingly when when once i discuss the h2s test then i can easily explain you what kind of color change is this now next is dew point dew point is basically the percentage of water in gas if there is a water in gas it is very very harmful okay why it is going to corrode the pipeline of the gas next is your carbon dioxide is these are again a corrosive material you have to do the carbon dioxide analysis or by using the machine called carbon dioxide analyzer next is your h2s for in the uh, in the field you have to perform the h2s analysis by using dragger's test so this specialized chemicals for h2 is lead acetate so pboac basically once pboac react with h2s it lead to the formation of pbs uh, pbs which is black in color so by observing this, we can easily predict whether my gas contains H2S or not. This Bragger's tubes, which contains, these are basically graduated tubes. So by this, we can easily understand how much the H2S is this, H2S in the gas. Next is work permit and safety. Okay. In any industry, before performing any kind of task, whether you are performing the vessel cleaning or any quality control test or anything else, you must take the work permit from your senior. Okay, or you or if you are a supervisor of any or, or of any area, then you must create a work permit to your subordinates. Okay, what is actually work permit and how it is carried out and what is safety parameters? So basically, a software called SAP. This is a global software everywhere in India or in other countries using software as SAP as a software. HPCL, ONGC, NTPC, everyone is using SAP as a software to carry out their data recording, HR processes, job assignments, work permitted, safety issues, everything is there in the SAP. For any job, you have to first create a document called work permit. That work permit is signed by more than two persons or three persons. Okay. One of that person is a safety supervisor who is going to supervise the job, which is on the, on the aspect of safety parameters. Okay, now let's talk about safety first. In in engineering and digital discipline, there is a, a, a there is a term called HSC. HSC stands for Health, Safety, and Environment. This is a very very important term huh? because in any basically in oil industry, every industry has some safety parameters, but in oil industry, HSC is the most important. It may call HSC. Someone may call that ESH, Environment, Safety, and Health. Okay, so. In any job, first create work permit and the every job will be carried out in order to for the safety of the health of the person who is carrying the job, for the safety of the uh, location as well as safety of the environment. Okay, these three are the, there is a specific officer assigned to HSE called as HSE officer. Okay, it is basically a broad practicing policy and regulations and minimizing the workplace hazardness. Okay. So this is all about the work permit and safety. This is this video is not a comprehensive video. It is a brief video regarding the skill test or trait test for HRRM. Okay, you cannot only uh, rely on this video. You, these are the just information. If you want more information, PPT will be available in the Telegram channel. Okay, if you want that. Now in part two, I am going to discuss about the safety procedures. That is what all the scaffolding procedures. Okay, what you have to do when you are working at the height, or what you have to do when you are working in the uh, close entry vessels like this. What is OSHA's occupation health safety parameters? Then firefighting. This firefighting is very important in any oil industry. Okay, so what kind of fire ex extinguishers you have to use for a different kind of fires? There's a there's a term called fire rectangle. We are going to discuss that. Fire type A, B, 
DCP type fire extinguisher, carbon dioxide fire ex like this. Now there is another term called process flow diagram and DCS. Okay, this DCS and process flow diagram is very important because in the refinery there are very complex machines. In order to understand the process of the machine, we must know the process flow diagram. Next is chemical inventory. These all are the some topics that I am going to discuss this part two. So friends, if you like the part one and if you think that this video is going to benefit you in your skill test or basically your interview so do comment in the comment section so it is going to help others as well okay still then stay tuned to rashan shastri youtube channel thank you jai hind